It is indeed a pleasure to take part in this ceremony, for this is a significant moment in your life. Receiving this award is a memorable occasion because it is the result of personal effort and discipline. You both have given your mother mem many memories, such as unpacking wet, muddy clothes, listening to campfire skits and crazy songs, hearing about Kalosh's high adventure trips, and Isha's near-death experiences with climbing trees. <laughs> Ms. Pokerna, will you please do the honors of pinning the Eagle Award on Isha and Kalosh? Only a few scouts ever attain the rank of Eagle Scout. You both are one of those few. The difference is that extra effort needed to follow through. Undoubtedly, your mother has helped encourage you to make that extra effort. In recognition of her devotion, please present her with the mother's eagle pin. An ingredient of success is that you have to go a small step further in order to succeed in anything. You have indeed taken those extra steps to make it to this point. For that reason, you should be more successful in whatever you undertake, now or in the future. Your father has been the source of much advice, guidance, encouragement, and patience to you. Mr. Palai, would you present Isha and Kalash with their Eagle Scout neckerchief and slide? In recognition of your father's advice and guidance, please present him with the Eagle Father's Pin. Now, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Isha Pokerna and Kailash Palai, Eagle Scouts. In regards to Isha's Eagle Project, I'd like to invite Mr. Mason to the stage to tell everyone where it took her afterwards in her scouting career. I was asked to talk a little bit about the, the Eagle Scout Project of the year. Um, I, I want to just uh, set a little bit of context if I can. You know, a couple of years ago when BSA made the announcement that they were going to start allowing girls and Boy Scouts 
there was, as you may or may not be aware, some pushback in our local area. Uh, some of the troops in the area uh, refused to consider supporting uh, and chartering a girl's troop. And um, some members of even uh, Troop 27's uh, committee at the time were strongly opposed um, for, for the church to uh, uh, charter a girl's troop. At that time, a couple of leaders from 227 uh, recruited a new and our current charting organization representative, Rob Haupt, who's here uh, this afternoon, uh, to allow this creation. Um, and thanks to uh, uh, Pastor Al and uh, Pastor Doyle for uh, welcoming the girls and actually you know, to formalizing our relationship uh, with the church. Uh, troop uh, 12, uh, 1219 has had uh, two, you know, two exceptional, uh, actually more, but uh, actually um, you know, has had two exceptional uh, Eagle Scouts in its inaugural class, uh, Karis Adkins and, um, and Isha. Um, in uh, 2019, you know, I'd already mentioned, you know, that, um, you know, we had 65,000 uh, Eagle Scouts that contributed um, over eight and a half million hours of volunteer service. Uh, that comes out to be uh, an average of about 100 an hour, 140 hours of service uh, per Eagle project. Um, as, uh, as you may be aware, Isha's project took seven months to complete uh, and she recorded uh, you know, the participation of over 85 uh, volunteers and more than 800 hours to com complete. Um, when I, I serve as a member of the, the Flaming Arrow, which is our district uh, advancement, um, uh, and I, I also serve as um, uh, a reviewer, if you will, uh, of Eagle Project's uh, proposals and sit on uh, Eagle uh, uh, boards of review. So it was, it was really, you know, all Eagle Projects are honorable and valuable, uh, but uh, Isha's was extraordinary. Um, as I say, you know, the average Eagle Project um, really involves about 140 hours of, um, of service. So following the completion of the project, I asked Isha and her parents to meet with me, and I encouraged Isha to submit her project for consideration for the National Eagle Scout Association's Glenn and Melinda Adams Eagle Service Project of the Year Award. This is a national award that recognizes extraordinary Eagle projects. I had a real strong suspicion that this project was a contender for the, the award. Uh, I think that Isha was somewhat embarrassed by the idea, and she had expressed little, con uh, little confidence that she was a contender. Uh, I contacted Travis Briner, the Director of Development at SHAC, uh, to learn more about the award and the application project, and subsequently Isha and uh, I and her family uh, had a few face-to-face -face meetings and exchanged dozens of emails, uh, but eventually Isha's application was submitted and after a couple of months, Isha was notified that she had been selected by the Houston members of the National Eagle Scout Association to be awarded Shaq's Eagle Project of the Year. Shortly afterward, I was contacted by Travis Briner, uh, who leads one of Shaq's largest fundraisers, the Sports Breakfast. Uh, Travis asked me uh, whether I could recommend Isha to be a keynote speaker at this year's fundraiser. Uh, the Sports Breakfast is a $1,000 a plate fundraiser uh, for uh, the Sam Houston Area Council. Uh, I, I assured uh, Travis that uh, Isha was going to light up the room. Uh, but, uh, you know, just taking my word for it, uh, Travis arranged an audition uh, by video conference, though Isha was unaware <laughs> that she was being, uh, you know, graded. Uh, Isha quickly, quickly uh, captured Travis's attention with her enthusiasm and natural and gregarious personality and uh, was asked if she would want to be a keynote speaker at this year's fundraising breakfast. Subsequently, Isha addressed an audience of about 400 people at the Post Oak Hotel in the Galleria, sharing the stage with Raphael Stone, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, and Craig Ackerman, the voice of the Rockets. Isha lit up the room and was given a standing ovation 
after her speech, which had never been done by an Eagle Scout, you know, that was invited to address that group. Isha's presence caught the attention of some influential folks in the audience, including a few television executives and personalities, and she was invited to be interviewed live by Derek Shore and Courtney Zavala on Channel 2's afternoon program, Houston Life. And that's not all. Isha was also cast in Shaq's promotional video, 3K in 30 Days, uh, which spearheaded our recruitment efforts. Who would have thought that that little girl that was bullied and picked on in elementary school for being different would accomplish so much and take center stage, winning over the hearts of everyone with her personality and incredible smile? I have a feeling she ain't done yet. Congratulations, Isha. Why don't you come up here and we'll show everybody what your award is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle Project of the Year. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard for me to believe that she was picked on when she was a little, little girl in <laughs> elementary school. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>